okay another problem on orthographic projection so we are supposed to create the front this arrow represents the front direction front view the right hand side view and the top view for this very object now the first thing that you need to do is to determine the length uh, let me write it here the length width and the height notice 65 plus this radius will give you the overall length so uh, nowhere i can see this radius however if you, if you watch carefully the diameter is given to you as 70 so if the diameter is 70 radius is half that is 35 so 65 plus 35 will give you the value as 100 okay that's the first thing secondly the width obviously is this 70 the height has been given as 60 60 okay with all of these datas we can create one box over here length and height then this is going to represent length and the width this is your width and the height make these three boxes okay now um i also have created a 3d cat model which i want to show you here it is take a look this is how the object is in reality once you've seen the picture try to make a 3d model inside your head okay and try to rotate the object and then try to work out how would the object look from the top how would the object look from the front how would the object look from the right hand side just try to have a rough assessment inside your head uh, once you're done with this you surely will be better placed in making these drawings okay i think this is going to really help you anyway uh minimize and back to the drawing the first thing that we'll do is we are going to locate this center this is the radius that is 35 this over here also represents the radius of the larger the semicircle here so from over here this by the way is 35 this over here is 35 and you can make a plus sign this is the center mark and then you can make this circle this circle is having a radius of 10 this radius is 10 okay the corresponding front view is going to be something of this sort just take a look absolutely straight hidden feature represented by dashed line this distance by the way is 35 we know that however when you look at it from over here from the right hand side this distance is evident this is the center line this is 35 again okay half of 70 that is 35 right now with that <coughs> we can go ahead and create the remaining portion of the top view take a look uh, this portion is visible to us a sort of inverted l you can see 70 70 um 30 plus 20 will give you 50 okay this is 20 this is 20 so you can make this inverted l no issues secondly what you need to do is uh this is 20 so at a distance of 20 millimeters you can make this rectangle this is what i'm talking about this is exactly what i'm talking about this is the rectangle that we've just made done okay the top view is done yes it is done now oh no 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 this semicircular profile okay take a look now 65 millimeters so from over here 65 this distance is 65 between these two points again it is 65 right now with this as center and with uh, this this radius is 35 this radius is 35 r 35 you have to make this semicircle done top view is done front view you first of all will make this l shape again if you watch this is 20 do this 20 60 20 and uh, what else yeah we are done one more thing that i wish to tell you this portion is this portion this portion over here until you reach here here then this portion this one this one this way this way and then to the extreme right end it is a curve this curve can only be experienced when you are viewing the object from the top however 
if you view it from the front it will will obviously apparently look like a straight edge right that's the truth uh, this is done now what if you watch carefully we are somewhere here or here you can say so at a distance of 30 millimeters make a point this is 30 by the way okay and once you you've made this point join it to the to i mean vertically downwards and then you can make this incline line we're very easy is the front view done yes it is now we are left with the side view in the side view the first thing that you are going to experience is this it will look like a straight edge then this then again this semicircle will obviously look like a straight edge then this then this then this okay then this and then this 20 this is how it should look done the only thing left is this rectangle 20 millimeters away so this distance is 20 you can refer it this distance is 20 so again 20 done done the problem is done nothing is left everything has been created whatever edges are visible they have been shown and the, the hidden features have been represented by dashed lines and once you add dimensions to it this is your final drawing where front view top view and this is the right and side view along with one two three four five six seven eight and nine dimensions ten dimensions as such okay so that was the complete solution i hope this is clear to everyone and if you've got any doubts write down in the comments